The technique is now shown in slow motion. Technique number 13. Striking with shoulder, lock arm. This chin-a technique is called striking with shoulder, lock arm. My opponent strikes at me with a right fist. I quickly take a step to the right while my left hand blocks him by his wrist and pushes out. My right hand strikes the side of his body at the soft parts under his arm and quickly returns to holding the back of his arm. These movements must be done in combination and can be very effective. By pushing his hand out and pulling the arm at the proper speed and energy, the arm can be broken. While holding his arm, I step in with my right foot and strike him with my shoulder to his shoulder. An alternative strike can be applied with the elbow. I turn to the left after taking him to the ground. I step and my right knee presses down behind the arm. My right hand presses against the elbow to lock his arm. I must pull his wrist inward and turn my body more to the left. This is one of my favorite moves due to the fact that uh, before I hit the ground, my collarbone is being broken and my arm at my elbow joint is being broken. Then when I am being down to the ground, my whole arm extension from my shoulder to my hand is being twisted and which gives me an internal break as well and uh, also the knee strike and there's another hand strike that may be applied as well. One of my favorite moves, fast. The technique is now shown in slow motion. Technique 14, twist wrist knee press. This chin -a technique is called twist wrist knee press. When the opponent strikes at me with his right fist, I quickly block across with my right hand to the right with my palm up while stepping forward to the left. At the same time, I turn my palm to grab the right wrist while stepping around so I can create a circular movement. His arm should be pressed closely across my chest as I pull the arm. From here, I can apply power or fajin and cause his arm to break. Or I can just turn my body in a clockwise direction and bring my opponent down quickly. Once my opponent is on the floor, I quickly twist his hand with both my hands in a clockwise direction. At the same time, my right knee drops and presses against his face and allows him no room to move. This can be a devastating knee strike to the face, but also locks the entire body for the full chin effect. This is another uh, great move off a straight right punch. And uh, one of the things I like about it is, is at the very end of it, um, he's also uh, locking your arm up and also doing a knee strike to a vital area close to your nose and your upper lip. Um, it's applied fast and strong. The technique is now shown in slow motion.
Technique 15, Swing Arm Lock Neck. This chin technique is called Swing Arm Lock Neck. My opponent strikes at me with a right roundhouse punch to my face. I take a step to the right and block the punch with both my hands. My right hand is at the elbow and my left controls the wrist. I slide my opponent's elbow inward and can choose to break the arm immediately or continue the movement. I am creating opposing spiral forces on the elbow joint at this point. I continue swinging his arm inward and around his body until I reach the neck. I now circle my right arm around my opponent's neck and use my left hand to lock onto my right hand to secure the hold. My left acts as a check on any elbow strike and a press on the right shoulder before securing the choke. The choke hold must be tight with no space for your opponent to breathe. I bring my arm and the choke down while turning to the left, causing my opponent to off balance and fall to the ground. Remember to hold both hands tightly and turn to the left. This is once again a very effective chin technique. What's interesting about this move is you go in thinking you're going to knock your opponent out and the next thing you know your arms being broken you're being turned around and choked and the pressure on your neck can come from multiple directions it can come in at the Adam's apple pressure from the sides or up against the chin and you can feel your I felt my jaw bones crushing I felt my neck being lengthened and stretched and everything snapping from the collarbone up The technique is now shown in slow motion. Technique 16, Encircle Neck Break Arm. This useful chin on technique is called encircle neck break arm. This move involves taking your opponent's strength and power. When your opponent comes forward with a strike, he is bringing in his power. At the same time, I block with my left hand, I strike his neck with my right hand. My left hand switches from a block to a wrist grab while my right hand rotates to a right palm under his chin. I take a right step forward while turning his wrist and arm in a circle. My palm presses up, forward, and through my opponent while stepping forward and creating the circle. The opponent will fall to the ground. I take three quick steps forward and press my right knee between his arm and shoulder. I press against the elbow with my right hand while turning his wrist with my left and pressing down with my right knee. The spiral forces and pressure will break the arm. I consider this a very effective chin technique. Master Wong again opens you up off the punch and immediately at the same time he's striking me in the throat. Uh, if that isn't enough, he moves forward pushing my body back and rolling my shoulders over my hips driving me down into the ground. From there he proceeds to chin on my arm with another wrist, elbow and shoulder lock applying pressure with his knee at the same time.